Hello everyone, this is the reading that goes along with Lab, Inve Lab Investigation 2.2. So hopefully you have done all of this. Um, if you haven't, stop what you're doing right now and go back and get to at least number six. So on number six, um, it says read, building your knowledge, ask, asking questions, controlling variables on pages 30 through 31 in the lesson two book on carolinascienceonline.com. Why is it, and the question you need to ask yourself that you'll be answering from this reading is why is it important for scientists to plan investigations in which variables are controlled? So um, we're gonna go to Carolina Science Online and then we're at page 30. So I'm gonna zoom in for you. So here's, um, a diagram of two batteries in series. You're hooked up to, um, it looks like a DC circuit meter. Um, you've got a switch that's open and then two light bulbs. So we're going to zoom in so you can see and follow along. Okay, so it says asking questions and controlling variables. So scientific inquiries begin, scientific inquiry begins with asking a question. These questions arise from careful observation of phenomena. For example, if I do this, what happens? In science, researchers want to make sure that an investigation is a fair test of the question they are asking. To do this, scientists follow a set of guidelines or rules to ensure that they perform a controlled experiment. A controlled experiment is an investigation in which only the factor being tested varies. So you just want one thing that's going to change. All other factors that are expected to be relevant are controlled to the extent possible so that they do not change. Another term for factor is variable. There are usually many variables that must be considered when designing an experiment and they depend on the situation. To see how this works, think about why an experiment is formed or is performed. The purpose of an experiment is often to determine if one variable affects another variable. For example, we could ask if the method used to connect two light bulbs, series or parallel, in a circuit affects their brightness. So again, you can see um, here the batteries are connected in series and then they're testing if the light bulbs are affected. Um, in series and they'll probably test in parallel because that's what they that's the example that they have there So still in series in the diagram So it says the variable that we think might be affected is the dependent variable in this case The brightness of the light bulbs because the dependent variable is the variable that we can measure and we're measuring how bright the light bulbs get and the variables that we think might cause the effect is the independent variable. In this case, the method used to connect the light bulbs is our independent variable. So the methods are whether it's in series or whether it's in parallel. All other variables, such as the type of light bulbs and the number of batteries, are kept constant. Remember, um, so in the lab, I'm, if you haven't seen the video yet, we also said that these alligator clips needed to remain constant. The type of battery um, that needs to remain constant. So let's see, where were we? So the number of batteries are kept constant. So when the experiment is conducted, both series and parallel circuits are tested and the brightness of the light bulbs is observed. If, either, if every other variable is controlled or kept constant, we should only observe the effect of the method used to connect the light bulbs on their brightness. If an experiment is well controlled, any changes in the dependent variable are very likely to be the result of the change in the independent variable. While there is no absolute guarantee that the result was caused by the change in the independent variable, controlled experiments allow researchers to make claims that other scientists can validate. When scientists repeat the same experiment under the same conditions and they get the same result, they can increase their confidence that the claim is true because the evidence supports it. So, um, 
I, what they're saying here is that we can attempt to control everything, but some things are out of our hands. But by repeating experiments and keeping everything controlled, um, the likelihood, uh, if the results are the same, the likelihood of the dependent variable changing um, is higher based on the experiment that we did. So in this case, changing if the results are the same, changing the batteries between series and parallel would cause the change um, that we would see in the light bulb brightness. But uh, let's see, let's go back to the questions. So the question that you should be able to answer is why is it important for scientists to plan investigations in which variables are controlled? So based on the reading and what I said, hopefully you can answer that question. Um, and then let's see, let's see if I can find the, this is, this is about how you will plan an investigation that will, these questions are going to help you plan an investigation that will help answer your question. Considering the following questions as you develop your plan. So what variables do you need to consider? And I addressed this in the video for the lab too, but I was just trying to see if I could find the information about the control and help you with that. Um, let's see how it is above the reading. Yeah, I can't find the one about which variables you want to control, the question about that. But when you get to that question, the things you want to control are the type of battery, the, um, we want to have the same alligator clips, so the same wires connecting everything. Um, make sure that the light bulbs are the same um, wattage too. So I hope that that helped you answer that question, and if you have further questions, please just email me. Hope you're doing well.